few more bats of rain, I think, has put, you know, people of young kids, it's not great to bring young kids out, but we're really excited. I mean, it's sad we have to come out and rally, but we are happy to turn out and have you all these beautiful people. Some of them have rallied for life for many, many years. So, yeah, we're happy. Yeah. The Palaszczuk Labor government's draconian termination of pregnancy bill ignores the rights of newborn, does not provide adequate protections or look after women's health. It is bad for Queensland. It is bad for the rights of the unborn. It's bad for women. It's bad for fathers. It's bad for families. And it needs to be voted down. I'm standing with those people who are saying Anastasia Palaszczuk needs to listen to Queenslanders. The committee process was a farce. The Queensland Law Reform Commission process was biased and unbalanced. And we need, as a compassionate and just society, to look after not only the unborn, but also the true welfare rights of women and to provide adequate protections for all Queenslanders. I represent the, uh, the Nurses Professional Association of Queensland. The Queensland Nurses Union actually sponsors of this particular legislation and we're opposed not so much on the, on the social grounds because that's not our gig, but we're very concerned about the effect on nurses that this legislation will have. Not just on the pro-life, but also the pro-choices. They will all be discriminated against. Oh, I'm standing up for life. Life of babies, life of mothers, life of grandparents, life uh, for fathers too. Everybody is affected by abortion. It's just, there is absolutely no um, limitations on this abortion bill. Women have no um, rights in it as far as um, counselling, or um, times of uh, um, thinking about it and coming back for an abortion. And well, you're going to the, the conscientious objection stuff is, is is good that it's in it, but how's it going to be actually applied? Are they going to do it on the, the, the day before the shift, or are they going to have to register their their conscientious objection when they get a job? How's this going to affect their their employment you know, prospects and their career prospects? And you can say, interestingly, you can say the same about the other side of it. So you've got the situation where you have a pro-life pro manager and a pro-choice nurse, or vice versa. You know, because it's such a polarising issue, this is our concern. And our, our belief was that this legislation should have been held over until these practical on-the-ground issues were resolved. And then the effect on unborn um, girls is uh, incredible. Already um, in Victoria, it's shown that baby girls are being aborted just because they're girls. Now, how can that be women's equality, women's rights? So, um, yeah, I'm passionate about this. And, uh, yeah, I believe by having a voice and praying, we can win this. The social changes in Queensland over the last 30 years are extraordinary. Growing up as a teenager in the 1980s in Queensland, I could never have foreshadowed a situation where I would find myself in the Queensland Parliament having to defend the rights of the unborn and also be debating whether true women's health was going to be maintained in this state in a balanced way. We need independent counselling for women who are considering termination of pregnancy. We need cooling off periods. We need clear and transparent conscientious objection rights in relation to health professionals. We need to stand up for Queenslanders. We need to stand up for the vulnerable in our state and we need to ensure that a balance is achieved when it comes to some of these contentious social issues. Do you know, a baby's brain can be actually detected at eight weeks. It's not just a fetus, this is a human being. I'm a medical doctor and I just wanted to discuss what this abortion bill is going to actually cause. Um, from a point of view, we're dealing with human life and life begins at conception and it ends at natural death. And life is really a continuum from that moment of conception to the moment we die, we change and we grow. And what this abortion bill is doing is it's basically, it's destroying life and it's killing and it's putting medical doctors in one of the worst possible positions where a doctor is supposed to be a person who protects life and looks after their patients. And what this abortion bill is doing, it's coercing them and it's making them be involved in a process in some manner, whether that be for referral or in whatever aspect. And it's actually taking away the rights of our doctors and it's taking away the safeguards that should go with a doctor-patient relationship. Well, in Queensland, as a member of parliament, as a specialist physician and as a father, I want to ensure that the rights of newborns are protected, that women get balanced and fair healthcare, which is free of conflicts of interest or perverse biases. I want to uh,
compassionate, just and fair society. And that's what we're talking about uh, next week before we have the vote in this parliament. What sort of society do we want? Do we want compassion? Do we want justice? Do we want fairness? Do we want equity? And do we want to protect the rights of the newborn whilst also looking after women's health? Uh, it's a situation I can't believe that in 2018 we've arrived at. Uh, Queensland deserves better, Queenslanders deserve better, women deserve better, the unborn deserves better, fathers deserve better, and so do families. Uh, and that's why I'm passionate in relation to my stance that I'll be voting no to the Palaszczuk Labor government's legislation next week. My name's Mark Robinson. I'm the state member for Ujuru in the Queensland Parliament, which is in the Cleveland uh, Bayside area. I'm here today uh, at Parliament House, just outside of the Parliament, with uh, a large crowd of people who have, have got concerns, are deeply concerned about these extreme abortion laws that Queensland doesn't need. Our laws are adequate, not perfect, and these laws are really terrible. These are laws are bad for women, they're bad for babies, and there's very little community support at all for them. Thousands at rallies, thousands of submissions into the parliament, um, thousands of emails being received by MPs around this state all saying these are bad laws, they are not the way forward, and um, you know, it, the vote is very close at the moment from what I can gather. Um, there's, there's no guarantees that the bill will pass. Uh, there's a number of people that, a um, number of MPs are really uh, very concerned and some being pressured, being intimidated and, and, and on, on this that shouldn't be the case. So uh, I'm, I'm praying and hoping that uh, this bill will go down uh, when it's uh, voted on in the parliament. Look, we've heard a lot over recent weeks about the conscience vote for um, politicians. They want to have a right to have their conscience on this, and this is because this is an issue of life and death. Well, I would say to them, that's all well and good, but what about the consciences of our doctors, of our medical staff, of our hospitals? Their rights to their conscience are actually being trampled with this bill. Well, when uh, conception takes place, that is the beginning. Uh, scientifically of an entity, a biological entity, which will uh, evolve into being a human being. Um, and so that's why there's a scientific basis to it, um, but there's also a philosophical basis to it as well. But there is a clear science uh, basis uh, to when conception takes place and that new entity starts to grow from very small beginnings uh, into what will become a, a human adult. Louder! Life! 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 Love them both. Love them both. Both lives matter. Both lives matter. Both lives matter. Life, life, life. Life, life, life. Life, life, life. Both lives matter. What do you think is going to happen uh, this week? What are the numbers looking like on Labor, Labor side? Are there many people going to vote with a, uh, a sensitive conscience yeah. or a seared conscience? A lot of people, we don't know yet. We think yeah. they'll be, um, it'll be tight, very, very tight. We're still working the numbers. Yeah, it's going to be tight. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Yeah. If there's anybody who still wants to know what they can do, yes. what should they be doing at, at this Email stage? Email and phone call. Phone call on Monday to the electorate office is perfect. Well, that's it from the Queensland Parliament House Speaker's Corner, where we've had, see, I reckon there's at least a thousand people here. It's a bit hard to tell. So many people have come out, even with the really bad weather, because we care about Queensland. We care about justice. We care about defending the innocent. If you're a Queensland resident, please take this opportunity if you haven't already, contact your local member, make your voice heard. Let them know that if they want to represent you at the next election, they need to vote no to this uh, bad legislation by Jackie Trad right now, and they need to vote for life, they need to vote for justice, they need to vote to defend the innocent. And uh, make sure you contact your local member and let them know this is an election issue. Nothing else is important when we're killing our own citizens. Thanks heaps, and uh, God bless. Thank <laughs> you.